During this unusual season, it's a good time to ask the question, what does it really mean to follow Jesus? What does it mean to follow Jesus during a pandemic? What does it mean to follow Jesus when the world is turned upside down? What does it mean to be a disciple? Well, in Luke, the 12th chapter, there's something very interesting Jesus said to his disciples. He said, fear not, little flock, for it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And then based on that, he said, sell your possessions and find lasting treasure in heaven that will not wear out. What's the message to us? At a time like this, we realize how the things of this earth are just temporal, how sports can be here one day and gone tomorrow, how restaurants and entertainment and movie theaters here one day and closed tomorrow, how so much that is normal to us in life can just pass by. And then if you have a loved one struggling, they're, they're sick and they're struggling with this virus, what matters is not all the earthly things and the distractions, but their actual life. This is a time for us to step back and look in the light of eternity and look at the realities of the kingdom that God is giving us. This transcends politics. This transcends nationalism. This transcends patriotism. This transcends personal vocation and things like that. We're talking about God's eternal kingdom, which intersects here with this world. How then should we live? How then do we live as ones who have been given an eternal, unshakable kingdom by God? And therefore, though we have roots in this world, they are not as deep as worldly people's roots because our roots are ultimately in eternity.